Plants vs. Zombies Heroes, where do I begin? It's like a very addicting game. It's very fun. I know it's Plants vs. Zombies, but it's a very fun addicting. And uh, yeah, I'll talk about it after the intro. <laughs> Now, before I continue anything in this video, I just want to say that this video is not sponsored whatsoever to P A E E A or Pop Cap or anything like that. They're good companies, just not sponsoring them because no permission and yeah, that stuff. But anyways, I just decided to give my review on Plants vs Zombies series today. It's a good game, it's addicting, and I think you guys would like it out there. So yeah, here's my first point. So my first point is in-game currency. Like every other app on the App Store, this game is free to play. Like every other game. Like for example, freaking Flappy Bird. I don't know. And that was like trending for like three years or something. It's dead now. But um, like what my point is though, every game has at least when it's free, it has some sort of in-app purchases. Even though like if you want to be like super savage, and they can have a game that costs money, and they have in-app purchases, and it's like you need them. But otherwise, um, so, ugh. anyway, so, um, my point is, though, in PVZ Heroes, there is currency, because that's what every other game is. There's, there's three types of currency. One, energy points. Two, uh, hero points, I believe that's what it's called, and three, gems. Now, everyone knows gems are purchasable, because that's every other video game, and gems or coins or something like that are right, purchasable. Purchasable. But anyways, so, otherwise, the energy points you get from doing uh, hero quests, and but you lose them because you have to craft them. And, and the other one is by decrafting um, cards. Now, basically, you get those and you can craft more or different cards. So, that's a good thing, right? Anyways, now the other thing is, um, the other one is gems. We're going to get that in a minute. But... These gems are used to buy premium packs, and premium packs give you a chance of getting a rare, a legendary, no, it's guaranteed to give you a rare, or better, so, but you have a chance of getting a new hero, a legendary, or a super rare, and then the last one is hero points, which you can use to get a basic pack, you know, you're not guaranteed to get a rare, but it's possible, but you only th get three basics, or commons, or uncommons, I don't know, but, otherwise, gems let's start there so gems what they do usually is um how you get them here points you get by winning or losing battles no matter what you get five for losing and 20 i believe for winning i don't remember what the exact number was and then you got gems here right now if you win online my battles are like ranked as they call it um you get usually about like you usually get them from uh, quests every day. You guys, you get like 10, but Food Fight has been on. This is like for 2016 in November. And so it's usually um, about like 20 or 30 hours. But so, the other thing is not only you can do daily quests every day, you can also do, um, what's it called? Hero quests. Now you get this when you unlock a new hero and you get like six of them when you start off because you choose new three new heroes. So, that's a good thing, right? And so, the other thing that we get them by is ranking up in to a new rank. Not like, like a league or rank. Now, what I'm saying is, say if you're like wooden one, right? When you rank up to wooden two, you're going to get like 15 gems, which is amazing. Because most games would give you like one or three or five gems. It's not a lot, usually, because games like to screw you over and say... Well, you gotta buy over, over crap because that's how we roll and that's how they make money to keep the game up and running. That is one thing. But I'm not saying this game doesn't tempt you to buy stuff. It does. It barely does. But, um, yeah, you get gems for completing missions. And that's really good because usually you get like 15, 20, 25, even 30, 50 sometimes. You get a lot of them from do completing those quests, and when you complete them, you get a card pack for that character, and you're, you can get a legendary out of it, and it's most likely. The other thing is, um, ranking up, you get about, like, if you go up to, like, say if you were, like, I don't know, bronze, you rank up to silver, you get 250 gems. What. The. Frick. Okay, so... 
250 a lot that's basically two premium packs and a basic okay the basic also costs 50 gems way 50 gems on a basic pack let's be real here but um you get so many gems from this so it's like basically you just walk into gem heaven and then you're very happy and then you get your two premium packs and you get absolute crap out of them or sometimes you get good stuff for you what i need um but um and sometimes you can get really good stuff like legendaries or even a new hero you never know dude you never know sorry about that um yeah yeah but that brings me to a point here that this game really doesn't lead you towards buying it you get gems and it's a good fair amount so it's this game is mostly true to truly free to free to play it's not like oh you need to buy these coins basically to win every match sometimes it's that case if you're facing like a level 30 freaking gold league and, and you're like level 2 wood league then you're just gonna get destroyed because you, you're new to the game and they've been playing longer than you yeah this, now that brings me to my next point multiplayer rep matching and so that'll be my next point and so yeah here it is uh, uh, ugh. Anyway, so my next point is um multiplayer matching right sometimes this game can be really unfair and put you with like a level 9999 nine, nine, nine. I don't know and then you're like level 2 and you get absolutely destroyed now sometimes it's a good thing because sometimes they let you win they can keyed or it means the keyed means um oh crap when we pull up um glock unkeyed all right there you go um oh okay so that's what it means basically means you lose or uh, you you're retreating basically that's what it means so yeah next my let's get off of that anyway so um my main point was um that sometimes it can like sometimes they lose on purpose or they can key because they don't want to be matched or sometimes they'll just stay and destroy you with their freaking good cards you know like <laughs> Anyways, though, um, so, yeah, that's what it really does. Sometimes it screws you over, sometimes it helps you out. Now, the only way, is, the only way I would help you out when they disconnect or they could keep. Now, when you're, like, level 18, for example, and then you're fighting someone who's level, like, 30. <coughs> and so, then... Yeah, in that case, they'll probably concede, but if they don't, then they're real savage, because they're about to get wrecked. But, um, otherwise, yeah, so that's that's really it for multiplayer ma matching. My main point for this is, and my conclusion for that is, um, sometimes it can screw you over and give you absolute, like, matchup madness. Like, sometimes it can help you out, and it's the other way around for the same person. So, yeah, I think my next point would be, um... Hmm. Sometimes the pack. Ah, like, all right, I'll explain more when I get to. All right, uh, here's my next point. It's just a prank, bro. There is no other points in this game. There's only like th three things to play. Anyways, but my main point of this whole video was to get my review on PVZ Heroes. Good game. And so yeah, that's my end review. It's a good game. I recommend downloading it. I don't. I don't want Creeper the Kid to be. Oh, Creeper the Kid does app reviews. Um. Yeah, Acts of Doom is gonna do this really cool thing where he looked at absolute crap apps and he just played them. And but uh, he did his iOS had to be butthole. And so yeah. But anyways, yeah. So hope you guys had a happy late Thanksgiving. Um, yeah. Hopefully that happens. And I hope you guys have a good Christmas. I am gonna be uploading more often. It's just I got a, a lot of new games on Black Friday and I wanted to play them a lot. And so I got like Titanfall 2. So that's you can see in the gameplay. Amazing. Love it. You guys should get it. Ooh. Anyways, yeah, but thank you guys for watching so much. Hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving. Oh, it's a little late. We've got good things on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. It's going to be going up on Tuesday. And that's today. But, dot, dot, dot. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you guys next time in another fantastic video. I'll see you guys next time.